what looks like another one that bit the dust. And this time we are talking about a man by the name of Christopher Stanton, Georgia. <clears throat> so let's get into it. A supporter of the U.S. president who was arrested at the Capitol riot was said to have died by suicide. A medical examiner in Fulton County, Atlanta, ruled on Tuesday that the death of Christopher Stanton, Georgia, yes, his last name is Georgia, was by suicide, confirming early reports. The 53-year-old who was, was also said to have suffered a gunshot wound to the chest, the medical examiner said. He was found by his wife in the basement of their home in Alpharetta, Georgia, on Saturday, according to reports. Georgia, who was said to have been a regional portfolio manager at a North Carolina bank, was arrested in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday evening after taking part in the riot on the Capitol. Now, look at this position. A regional portfolio manager at a bank. A lot of the people that was out there doing all of that stuff had some well-paying jobs that many of them sacrificed because now they probably don't have any employment anymore because they got caught and they got fired or they got arrested. Now they have a record. Well, this guy got arrested, had a record, couldn't handle it, and then killed himself. Now, this man most likely killed himself because look at the job he had. He got caught. He was most likely going to be fired. Um, His wife probably was going to leave him. So he probably felt like, what am I? And he got arrested. So now he had a record for doing something like this. So he probably felt, what do I, what, what do I have to live for? And he just offed himself. Now, he shot himself in a very interesting place because usually when people do self-inflicted gunshot wounds, it's usually to the head. This guy shot himself in the chest. But let's continue. According to the Washington Examiner, he was charged with attempting to break into the U.S. Capitol alongside supporters of the president. They had earlier been instructed by the president to march on the country's legislature with strength. Georgia, who pled not guilty in court on Thursday, was also charged with violating an evening curfew in Washington, D.C. that was imposed after the riot. He was said to have stayed behind and did not disperse at a police request. Now, these are the same people that try to tell us to always comply with police orders, but they didn't even do it. As a matter of fact, that whole Blue Lives Matter thing went out the entire window when they were involved with the killing, or should I say the murder, of a cop. Mind you, I think that cop was also P.C., so I don't want to hear one more blue lies, blue lives matter come out of their mouth just on that one incident alone. I think that's the one that they killed with the fire extinguisher. Officers were called to his home in Alpharetta on Saturday morning, having received a phone call from his wife. According to a police report seen by the Daily Mail, she told officers that there was blood everywhere and that my husband is dead. Police were also reported to have removed two rifles from the property. The 53-year-old's death follows that of five others who died following Wednesday's invasion. They included a Capitol Police officer and supporters of 45, who some of whom were said to have suffered medical emergencies while one other was shot, and I'm assuming they were talking about Ashley Babbitt. The FBI said on Tuesday that more than 70 people have been arrested in relation to Wednesday's invasion, with federal prosecutors expecting hundreds of others. Ask me how I feel about this. I don't feel a thing. As, a, as far as I'm concerned, he had it coming. But, you know, that conscience got to him. And he already knew it was coming. He knew it was about to happen. That's why he had to end it before it did. He already knew those charges was going to rack up. He was going to end up in court and probably end up in jail. See, here's the thing. A lot of 45 supporters, the ones who went out there, many of them bit off more than they could chew. They probably did not realize, or most of them didn't realize, the consequences that were to come of their actions. Whether it was losing their job, not being able to fly anywhere, because you know many of them ended up on the no-fly list. Probably, uh, if they were in a relationship, it would probably have done something to that. A resume full of charges in jail time all stacked up against them and they didn't think of it at that moment because in that moment that adrenaline rush to do what they did none of the consequences sank in or they probably thought really deep in the back of their mind that they were going to get away with it just get away with it and do whatever they wanted and nothing was going to happen and they found out otherwise but you know what something tells me they'll be back at it again and they'll continue to do it in the name of 45 and they will still continue to suffer the consequences at the end of the day. But I have a feeling that many of them just don't care.
Yeah, that's fine. Just leave me out of it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave myself out of it. I'm not in it. You go and do your thing, but do it over there. Away from over here. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, please text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And I will talk to you in the next one.